Are you struggling to make Google ads work for your business? Well, then chances are you might not have adopted the right strategy. Getting the right strategy in Google ads is critical to success. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my process of how I would devise a perfect strategy in a really competitive market. And obviously you can ap apply this process for your own industry in, with your own business. My name's Alana. Welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel. Let's go dive in because I'm really excited with the step-by-step -step process I'm going to teach you. So this is the particular business. They clearly have a membership website because it says members homepage or it's a club teaching people how to crochet or obviously improve their crochet skills. All right. So my ideal customer or would be somebody who wants to learn how to crochet. So if I go to Google and I type in how to crochet, what I'm really looking for here is firstly, are ads going to come up above the organic results? And importantly, no, they don't. That's a big red flag to me that I would, wouldn't would really bid on the keyword how to crochet because Google's not really showing any ads. And if I scroll down a little bit, there's really no ads below either. Okay, so it's probably too top of funnel. And if I click here, you'll see how to crochet a blanket, a, you know, a scarf, etc. So those are probably the more specific types of keywords that I may be on. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that in a minute. But really, what I want to look at is what is here in the organic results. And the first thing I see is a video. Okay, how to crochet for absolute beginners, and a bunch of other videos. So really, this kind of tells me. Maybe I need to think about doing YouTube ads and getting, because the people who go to Google and type in how to crochet, they're probably going to be watching these types of videos. Plus YouTube ads for this type of industry feels like a no brainer because anyone who is watching a video, teaching them how to crochet clearly is going to want to learn. It's not like uh, somebody like myself who is not interested in learning how to crochet. You won't find me watching a video on how to crochet. So at least we know that anyone who is watching this kind of video, we know that they want to learn how to crochet. <laughs> so if I go open one of these videos in another tab, what I'm looking for here is does an ad come up? All right. And yes, it does, which means that I could very easily grab this URL and have an ad, my ad show up before this particular ad. So I'm just going to skip past this ad. I'm just going to wait the five seconds. And what I really want to look for here, firstly, is how many views they've had. And they've had 23 million views, which <laughs> means that it gets a lot of views. Obviously, this is from 2015. So I know this video was uploaded a long time ago, but still 23 million videos. There's no doubt this video is still getting views. And it looks like it is exactly kind of my target audience. OK, so that's really what I'm looking for when I'm finding videos. The first thing is, does it have enough views? And the second thing is, importantly, do they allow ads? All right. So if I have a look at some, oh, let's have a look at this particular video. So this does not have an ad that's coming up before it. So I would not be able to target this specific video. So I guess there's a bit of a time consuming process finding these videos and we can also just go to YouTube and type in how to crochet and we can find more placements by using this method as well. So manually going to each video and having a look, do they show ads and also scanning through to see how many views they have had as well. Okay. So YouTube um, placement targeting would be one thing. And also we could do YouTube keyword targeting. So people who type into YouTube, how to crochet, um, and then would probably show up for all these variations of it as well. And we can do an in-stream ad of that as well. So two forms of YouTube targeting, placement and keyword targeting. Okay, let's keep scrolling down this Google search result page and let's have a look at this first organic listing, which is a website. So I'm just going to close these other things. Let's have a look at this. 
So this is somebody's blog on how to crochet and really what I'm looking for here is does this website allow Google banners? So that would be a display campaign. Okay, so we scroll down here, let's have a look. And look, lo and behold, here is a Google ad. You can see the I ads by Google. All right, so and another one. How do I get rid of this? I don't know how to get rid of it. Cross. Okay, another one here. Go there. It's dripping with ads. Okay, so what I could theoretically do is since, you know, if, if this was my business, obviously, since I don't rank number one on Google, but this particular person's blog does, I can create a display campaign in Google Ads targeting the people who land on this page, all right, and have my ad show up in some of these ad spots that they've got here, all right? So we can do the same for this particular website. Let's have a look at this. Once again, we're looking for, Google, and there is a Google ad, fantastic. So that's another potential display placement that we can have, uh, wikihow.life, I don't know what this is, but let's have a look. Uh, this probably would not, oh, there you go, Google Ads. All right, so really, once again, another research process that we're going to go through to find uh, just possible display placements. So I'm not going to do a really broad display campaign. I'm going to think like a sniper and just be really, really selective with where I want to advertise. So the next thing we want to really think about is incorporating a Google search campaign to the overall strategy. Google search campaigns can be really effective in getting in front of uh, people who are wanting to learn or wanting to buy things. So we need to start thinking about um, what type of search campaign we would look to create. So if we go back to this website, uh, let's have a look at their store, which is obviously some of the things that they may sell. Let's see if we can kind of get some ideas. Let's get rid of this. Um, and they've got patterns and they've got workshops. Okay, cool. So maybe we can think about possibly uh, running Google search traffic to their workshop. So if we click on the workshops page, oh, looks like they don't have any workshops or maybe they're coming, uh, but you know, when they populate that. So we can go here and we can say um, crochet uh, work workshops, let's say near me, would be a very kind of... Um, buying type phrase, very local based. So as you can see, an ad um, comes up here and that sort of gives us the idea of crochet classes could also, so this would be one possible keyword as well as uh, classes. Maybe I'm in Sydney, so Sydney and uh, there's ads that come up here and I'm sure that there are ads in the maps as well. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so yeah, so we need to start to think about that. Um, Let's go back to the store and uh, there was also, I think well, there was patterns, uh, possibly maybe people buy crochet patterns, uh, patterns um, online, let's see, obviously we'd need to do some full keyword research, so here is an ad that comes up, but these are people offering free uh, patterns, so possibly you would add free as a negative keyword. And let's get rid of this to see crochet patterns. No ads come up. So let's have a look. We've got our keyword tool. Our, this is a Chrome add-on called Keywords Everywhere. And that gives us some additional keyword ideas. Uh, so obviously, once again, we're going to add free as a negative keyword because these people sell that. Um, and maybe people, uh, we could do, oopsie, I didn't mean to do that, buy crochet patterns. And this is obviously people um, coming up, uh, ads coming up for people who uh, try and sell crochet patterns. So yeah, so there you have it. We would have a search campaign targeting, uh, you know, t keywords like buy crochet patterns, uh, crochet workshops, uh, classes, etc. We would do a display campaign targeting just these types of websites that allow Google ads on their site and also a YouTube campaign for keywords and placements. 
So that's what I would do starting out. Obviously, once we get some data, we would make some tweaks and optimizations along the way, turning off things that are not working and putting more money towards things that are working. If you enjoy this video, uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because I load lots of awesome content. Thanks for watching.